Hey everybody, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. I hope everybody remembered to get their loved one a card. And if you're a carnivore or you're on the keto diet, I hope you got your loved one some yummy meat. What I want to talk to you today and share with you is about what I call the carnivore glow. One of the things that drew me to carnivory in the early beginning, hey, happy Valentine's Day to you too, is the first thing I noticed is I started seeing pictures of long-term carnivores is they all have a glow about them. Their skin is so amazing, so healthy looking to me. Um, it doesn't matter if they're a deep brown tan person or if they're pale or if they're uh, African American. It, it just doesn't matter. Asian, it just everybody that I have seen pictures of who's been carnivore through the worst part of their healing, let's say. That's my guess. I don't know that. It's just a guess. But it looks to me like once you get through the worst part of your healing, your skin just there's a glow about us. I'm seeing it more and more in my wife, and she's reported seeing it more and more in me. And one really important thing about this, in my opinion, that I observe in the carnivores that I see face to face, uh, the people who live a carnivorous life that I interact with online, if you see their pictures, their affect, how their mood appears is always very positive. And my conversations with carnivores in different countries, I speak to a lot of carnivores on a regular basis who live in Canada, who live in Australia, who live in the UK, as well as in the United States. Very different cultures. We share a common language, but our cultures are different. We come from different religious backgrounds. Uh, we live in extremely different climates, but you wouldn't know it by our conversations and the friendliness. It, uh, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced in uh, all the years I've been interacting on the internet with other human beings. I've never met a more kind and considerate community of people and it's not like we don't disagree about things. We disagree on politics. We don't all do carnivory the same way. And we don't care. We're just happy that other people are happy and feeling as good as we do. And we really don't care how you get there, to be honest. But we carnivores, we like doing it the way we do it. Now for me, myself, I'm blessed to be married to a carnivore, so uh, I can see firsthand how much more pleasant life is for both of us as a carnivore. And then we uh, see others in the community thriving and prospering. They always have smiles on their faces. They're never in a bad mood or a glum mood. Just always very positive. And I think you're going to find that in the carnivore community throughout, for the most part. To be honest, I've yet to see a grumpy carnivore. I haven't. Just haven't seen one yet. Anyway, it's great to talk with you all today. I also want to brag about something. When, for most of my life, I wore, even when I was young, the last time that I was weighed 177 pounds and had a 32 inch waist, I was 17 years old. And I wore large shirts or extra large because I was a weightlifter, an athlete, and I had broader shoulders than I have now. Well, now I'm 57, I turn 58 next month. Who, who saw that coming? And when I lost all the weight along my journey 
to get where I am today. I lost 116 pounds through three year and a half years, low carb, high fat, and then seven months Saturday as a carnivore. So I lost 116 pounds and I'm, I'm, I'm working out again. I, I was at the gym a couple days ago and posted some pictures about it on Instagram. Um, I have to be careful and do it slowly because I don't want to be injured. I have a history of hernias. Anyway, the point I'm getting to in a roundabout way is I noticed in my videos that my large shirts, large size shirts, were looking like they were hanging off of me, like I got them, like I was a homeless guy who, who, who got them at a, a thrift store or something. <laughs> so my wife works at a uh, screen print shop, so there's shirts galore around. So I asked her to bring me a blank medium in home. I wanted to see if it would fit. Well, this is a medium. And as you can see, it fits me perfectly. So, isn't that cool? Now I know what size shirt to wear again. <laughs> Listen, if you've been following your doctor's orders for years, taking the meds, going to doing the therapies, exercising as instructed, and you're just not satisfied with your health. You don't like the way you feel. Your mood's not as good as you want, want it to be. Give carnivory, a ketogenic diet, a ketogenic way of living, a really good look-see. Take the time to look into it. Learn about eating meat and drinking water. It's very liberating. I speak from personal experience. Anyway, that's all for today. It's great talking with you. Have a blessed rest of your day. And as soon as I turn this off, I'm going to make some vitamin D in a very serious way. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. Oops, don't fall on me.